Hey, it's Danny. I just wanted to do a short introduction video to tell you a little bit about me and tell you a little bit about this channel. Um, I've uploaded a couple of videos and a couple of shorts now. Not getting much, in, much interaction yet, but I didn't really expect much yet. So I do think an introduction video might help um, because I don't want anybody to think that I'm anything other than what I am. Uh, I am not a great guitar player. Uh, I may post some clips of me playing just to give you examples of what a guitar sounds like, but I can forewarn you that it's not going to be uh, great playing. Um, I started getting interested in guitars around 2020 um, when COVID hit. <clears throat> I found myself with some extra time on my hands and I think my first step was I bought a kit off of eBay. It was a Stratocaster kit and I've got that around here somewhere. Um, I think it's, I think it's upstairs. Um, I put it together, didn't really know what I was doing. The, the neck wasn't straight. The, the fret work was terrible. Um, I got an, an acoustic guitar. Actually, I have it. It's an Epiphone acoustic guitar. Um, and I decided I was going to start learning how to play. I signed up for the Fender Play Lessons. A friend of mine who had a lot of really nice guitars and is, is really good, I think felt sorry for me because that Epiphone didn't play great either. So he bought me a Squire Classic Vibe, 50s Classic Vibe Stratocaster. And it's a really nice guitar. I am I am still, the more guitars I own and the more guitars I work with, the more impressed I am with the quality of that classic vibe Strat. Um, that helped quite a bit. It made playing a lot easier and it made it a lot more fun. He also recommended, and I, I followed his recommendation and got a positive grid spark amplifier which also made playing a lot more fun. Um, it was really cool to be able to get some of the tones that you hear on, on various records. Even though I didn't sound like the people on the records, I could, I could generate the tone at least, uh, know that it's possible. Somewhere along the way, um, I started developing some problems in my wrists. Um, I was also working to renovate a building at the time, actually the building we're in right now. Um, it needed a, a complete renovation and I did work that I hadn't done in 20 years. And I think I injured my shoulders and my back and I had some tendonitis problems. The only lingering problem I have right now is trigger finger. Uh, this finger will get stuck unless I go through a pretty extensive, uh, stretching routine before I try to play. Um, I've discovered within the last three or four months that I can <clears throat> work that catch out and, and get enough dexterity and flexibility to be able to play again. But for about a year, I didn't, I didn't play much at all. So unfortunately, any progress I had made previously went away <laughs> during that year of, of not playing. Now the whole time I've been working on guitars and working with guitars. Um, I've built a handful of kits. Um, I've put together quite a few parts casters. I recently uh, bought a Gibson uh, Les Paul Classic body and neck off of Stratosphere and put it together and, and love it. I mean, it's a Gibson Les Paul, so who wouldn't? Um, I've got a lot of guitars. I, I probably somewhere between 25 and 30. I'm not real sure right at the moment, uh, including bass guitars. I've got three bass guitars. Um, so I will do some videos just showing and describing some of my guitars and how I got them and, and what modifications, if any, have been done to them. Um, like I said, I am not a professional guitar tech. tech. I am not a professional guitar player. Uh, I am a licensed counselor. Um, I've been a counselor for about 15 years, I guess. Um, prior to that, I worked in a machine shop, so I have some technical skill. 
Um, I, I understand measurements and, and cutting and, and tolerances and mechanical processes. And I think that's helped me a little bit working on guitars. Um, it's not like I came into it blind. I've done some carpentry over the years. I know a little bit about woodworking as well. Um, I also know my weaknesses and my, my weaknesses are finishes. Um, I don't know if I, I don't have the patience or I don't have the skill or what, but I'm really bad at finishes. So if I ever had a chance to get a pre-finished guitar body, that's, that's the direction I'll go. Um, so this is just kind of a hobby. Uh, I'm probably a little excessive on the number of guitars I've got for a hobbyist. Um, my wife just kind of shakes her head. She, she doesn't criticize too much, but um, she will occasionally ask me how many guitars I've got now. Um, and I tell her, honestly, I don't know. Um, I, I, I haven't counted in quite a while. Um, last time I tried to count, I forgot some because I've got, I've got one in a case under the bed. I've got another one in a case in the closet. Um, I've got guitars spread out from some at home uh, some here at the office, um, some in, in a storage place upstairs. So they're, they're a little bit of everywhere. Um, I don't know what people want to watch. I don't know if anybody wants to watch what I have to show, uh, but I'm going to show it anyway and just kind of take a chance that maybe there's some people like me out there that, uh, got started with guitars later in life. Um, I really wish I had learned to play when I was in my teens or 20s, back when I had the, had the bandwidth to learn new skills quickly and easily. Um, I can tell you it's a lot tougher after 50. And one of the challenges is that I've historically not stuck with anything that I'm not immediately good at. Um, I, I'm enough of a perfectionist that I get really frustrated when I don't see pretty quick pros progress. And I can tell you that I don't, I don't think there's anything quick about the progress in, in learning guitar. Um, it requires a lot of patience and a lot of determination. And I've, I've never been really good at those things. So I challenged myself three years ago uh, to try to stick with it even though I sucked. And I still suck, but I'm still sticking with it. Um, so anybody out there that's thinking about starting guitar, uh, especially later in life, it's not going to be easy, um, but it can be a lot of fun. And I don't have to be really good to really enjoy what I'm doing. And, and that's an important lesson for me too. Um, there's no end goal that I'm working toward. There's no, I'm going to perform live in front of a bunch of people. That's not that's not where my mind is at. My mind is about enjoying the process, enjoying, enjoying the journey. So I hope you'll come along with me. Um, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Um, if I talk about anything you would like to hear more about, leave a comment, let me know. Um, I want this to be fun. I watch a lot of guys on guitar videos and um, they develop these really cool communities of people that share information back and forth and ask questions and tell stories. Um, I'd really like to be more involved with some of that uh, on this channel. So thanks for tuning in. Um, subscribe, like this video, all the stuff that you do. Um, and we'll see you with the next video. Mm -hmm.